Welcome to the Sonus Wahoo Quick Start Guide. To get started, plug in a 9 volt power supply, then connect your amp and instrument. Locking a Wahoo is a good way to start because it means you won't be able to edit the presets by mistake. There are 100 factory presets and 100 user presets. To go through the presets, press the up and down buttons. If you press and hold the buttons, it will go through the presets in steps of 10. You can also select presets by using your foot. Press and hold the main foot switch until the main LED flashes. When the foot pedal is in the toe down position, pressing the foot switch will increment presets. And when it's in the heel down position, pressing the foot switch will decrement the preset. And exit preset mode by pressing and holding the foot switch until the LED stops flashing. If you take a look at the quick start guide on the first page of the Wahoo user manual, it lists some presets for guitar and bass for you to try. We'll walk through the guitar ones now. F00 is a classic wah pedal. F10 has a more vocal wah using vowels. F20 is a touch wah, so you don't need to use the pedal. F42 is a dual filter phaser like sound. F50 has step telephones for an arpeggiator like sound. And F61 has two LFOs, one creates a beat and the other creates phaser like sounds. Now let's try some preset editing. First, unlock the Wahoo. We've taken all this power and complexity and put it into a simple to use front panel. There are three sections level, filter, and mode. Each section has a dedicated knob to adjust the parameter and a set of LEDs to show which parameter is being edited. When you turn a knob, you can adjust the highlighted parameter and the corresponding LED flashes to show this. By pressing the knob, you can select the parameter you want to edit. The filter has high and low parameters. The high corresponds to the toe down position and the low corresponds to the heel down position of the foot pedal. Some parameters have extra options available. The up and down buttons will light to show this and you can select the option by pressing the up and down arrows. Select which filter you want to edit using the filter button. To cancel any editing and go back to the original preset, simply press and hold the save button for two seconds. To save a preset, press save. Select the preset location where you want to save the preset. Press save and enter the name by turning a knob. Press the knob to advance to the next character. When done, press save again. Let's start by modifying the first factory preset, F00, a crybaby emulation. Let's make it darker, so we select the high cutoff frequency and turn it down. And do the same to the low frequency and turn that down too. Let's make it even darker and turn the high and low frequencies down even more. You can clearly hear the difference. You can also adjust the resonance or Q of the filters. Let's explore that. If we turn both high and low Q down to minimum value of zero, you'll see the filter has a very subtle effect indeed. No increase, just a low Q. Now also increase the high Q.
At maximum Q, the filters will self-oscillate. Let's hear what it's like close to that point. The filters on the Wahoo can be either bandpass or low pass. Go to the shape parameter and change from bandpass to low pass. Selecting curve lets you choose one of 19 response curves to adjust how the filter responds to the pedal. At one extreme, low 9, the sweet spot of the pedal is moved to the toe down position. At the other extreme, high 9, the sweet spot is moved towards the heel position of the foot pedal. Although we've only shown this working on pedal mode, if you want to use LF4 envelope, simply change the mode the filter operates in. Finally, use the mixer section to balance the levels of the effect. Drive lets you overdrive the filters to get a pleasing warm, overdriven sound. Reducing the drive gives you a clean sound, but don't set it too low or the signal level can be too small. Filter mix lets you adjust the balance between filter 1 and 2. Setting it to 0 gives you only filter 1. Setting it to 100 gives you only filter 2. Adjust the balance to get the sound you want. You can mix in some dry signal using the dry wet mix and finally adjust the output level to get the volume you want. This video only touches the surface of what you can do with the Wahoo. Although you can fully configure the Wahoo using the control panel as demonstrated in this video, we recommend you use the desktop editor for the best experience. Go to www.sonus.com